Uh, this is a 63-year-old anesthesiologist who uh, had this procedure when he showed up in my office uh, done at an outside institution and had junctional problems. Uh, pretty healthy guy, decent bone quality. His, his spouse was at every meeting beforehand. So um, on the right side, you can see um, this is back in July of 19. I extended him proximally. So on the, uh, this is post-op day four. Uh, on the left, you see his end-drop film. On the right, you see him starting to fail his upper screws. Uh, one month later is the left film. 13 months later is the right film. He, despite uh, looking at the x-rays with me and sharing my concerns, was actually doing reasonably well, so opted just to kind of watch this. Another year later, so now he's two, little over two years uh, post-op. So now he's, now he's hurting, and uh, his skin's okay, but he can feel it, sitting against chairs and things like that, and um, his posture's a little worse. So what, uh, actually, let me see, okay. So what would be the plan to the OR? That's a CT scan. Anyone have a, have a thought about that? Neurologically intact, good question, I like that. Did you have a stand film on the left the fire slide? Uh, that was, how do I go back? You know, when I, when I look at these cases, the first thing, I, if we go to initial post-op, um, you know, anytime we see a PJK, be it one, one of our own or uh, one that's referred in, let, let's go back to the initial post-op. Um, you know, I, I want to try and make a um, statement about- Here's immediate post-op, four days. Could we have predicted?